Hey, how you doing, brother? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Brother right here in front. How you doing? What's going on, brother? Y'all doing, doing the march today, right? Y'all doing the march for the house? Say again. Poor people's march. For the poor people's, the poor people's march, right? Can you, can you let us know a little bit about it? About the poor people's march today? Just a little bit. Because I see your shirt says, I see your shirt says, housing is a human right. What does that mean? What do, you, what do you mean by that? I mean, every human that have a house. Meaning, 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 gentrification is real. Meaning, gentrification, meaning, meaning, we was, we, we was living here in the city. DC was chocolate city. It's, 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 it's getting a little bit. It's, it's changing. It's changing. It's a little swirling. It's, 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 it's changing. We, we move with the Merlin and Virginia now. They're pushing us. We don't own the land that we live on. Guess what? And all right, in this town. But if we get, if we, if we, if we, if we, if we become more knowledgeable about who we are and actually being together as a nation, behind the law we can move. We can do anything. Anything. We can do anything if we, if we, if we stick together. And we got, and we have to know. We got to know who to follow. We gotta know. We, listen, we, we, we behind Mario Bowser, but she just had some housing project, and it's not. It's something that we can't. Behind and she not behind us. You see that? She behind that money. She right? behind uh, every. Her right. Yeah. Mario Bowser is behind the money, just no, like you said. said. Just like you said. No, what, what he's saying is, is right. I just wanted to share this one thing with you. He says in Deuteronomy 28 and um, 32. Right, you know we went into slavery yeah. by way of uh, transatlantic slave trade, and then they uh, so, so called gave us a holiday called Juneteenth or what have you, where supposedly we're not in slavery. Do you believe that? Do you believe that we're not in slavery anymore? Uh, I know I'm not a slave. You know you're not a slave. Yeah, can you can you prove it to me? You 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 don't have a house. Well, what what's the come before a house? What we'll comes before a house? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That happened to us. You understand? This is a curse that God said that would happen to the children of Israel. Go ahead. Go to this land is your land, this land is our land, man. We'll make the children. That, that was for your son. That was for your oppressor. Yeah. I know. Do you believe that, that I know you were the three sisters of the man? I kind of believe no, I know. Well, well, that's what it say. I'm just telling you what it say. I don't know if you want to believe it or not. <laughs> Come on. I hear you. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people, and thine eyes shall, shall look and fail for longing for them all the day long. You understand? We've been looking for those people that they separated and sold into slavery in different places all over. How could you look at a, another black man and have eight in y'all when that might be your brother right there? You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in here is family right. yeah. when it's concerned yeah. us. Yeah. Read on. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Son, shall be not, son, shall be no, no might in thine hand. Verse 33, the fruit of thy land and all thy labors. You understand? You gotta have land in order to have house. You understand the fruit of our land. You understand the fruit of the land is structures, which are houses. You understand which are buildings that will hold your grain and your wheat or what have you. Hold your clothes and, and, and your stores. You understand? That's what we, we the fruit of our land. You understand? Places that we lay our eggs. It says that the, 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 the devil speak with the fourth tongue, right? Isn't that what your brother said? He stole that brother's house. He stole that brother's land and house. You understand? Yeah. And 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 then promised the ones that he, he brought from another place that just happened to be related, said that he was going to give us 40 acres in the mule. It ain't going to never happen. Because he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. You understand? And he's a liar, just like his father. Okay? Read on from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 33. The fruit of thy land of thy land and all thy labors shall a shall a nation which sorry, shall a nation which thou knowest not 
emptied up. They ate up our labor. They got free labor yeah. for us. You understand? And then you think that they're going to give you a job, you understand? And then that still ain't slavery? It's still slavery. It's wage slavery. Okay? They owe us, you understand? Because they took our labor for free. Okay? They stole our labor. So what is it that we owe them? What should we provide to them? Well, we've given them everything. No, God owes them what they gave to his children. You understand? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Keep going. Verse 33. Which thou knowest not, eat up, and thou shalt and, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed all the way. You understand? We've been crushed and oppressed all the way. You understand? These are curses that Moses got and told the children of Israel when we came out of Egypt. You understand? We walked out of Egypt and he said, Today I, I bring before you blessings and curses. You understand? He said, choose life. And all these curses that we catch in, in America today for the last 400 years, they right here in the Bible. You understand? They right here. Keep reading. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven than the sours Black power, uh, 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 one body, one faith, one Lord Feel like I can take over the world with one sword 144,000 men on one accord Not being in this army is something you can't afford To bring niggas across the board, ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king, round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta, ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man in our camp, it ain't no cowards. Nah. 144 grand, nigga, it's step before the song. Rather die like a man, man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours. I'd rather die 